Today is February 8th and... Ninth. Ninth. I know. Today is February 9th. <laughs> this is Gold Robotics. For that, we'll start with Reese's Bot. <laughs> okay. Um, today was a disappointing... I'm sorry, a very knowledgeable day. A learning experience. A learning experience. Um, I finished my four bar. It's all good. Everything's hooked up. I did my gear ratio that I was talking about with the uh, second largest gear to the smallest gear. I don't have any of the gears one, on me. One to five. One to five gear ratio. I did that. I added rubber bands on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but I have blue rubber bands. And then I decided I was going to test to see how well it could pick up a base. I tested it. It couldn't even pick up an alliance base all by itself. I must have been misremembering things. I must have had like two motors on it or something. I don't know. But it could not pick up the line space even with elastic help. And that was just no good. And so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to describe all I have right here and do what Bobby's doing. Okay, so yesterday I was thinking about doing a reaction even beginning of today. Then I was like... Too long. It is probably something that's going to take a while, and we don't really have too much time right now. And so, uh, and it's really complicated. And uh, if we need, if we, if it, if it will build what we have, and if we want something to help it out a little, we'll add the ratchet. But we don't even know if we need help with it. Um, so, before we had a bot that was one to five. And it had two motors, and it lifted it fine, the whole match. Um, I think it struggled. Maybe it didn't really struggle, right? Maybe, maybe with the toggle a little bit, but it, it was pretty good. And we didn't have any elastic assists. Last tournament, Reese had a one to seven, one to seven, and he really didn't struggle at all. With only one motor. With only one motor, and he didn't have elastic assists. So. Whenever we got done, we were like, okay, let's make it faster. And whenever we were thinking about making it faster, we are like, okay, let's up the gear ratio. However, now that we're looking at it, maybe the best move to squeeze out the most speed out of that motor would be to make the bars longer, which does like quite a few things. One, it gives us a little bit more uh, of a, like a two inch head start at the beginning to where we can stick our arms out a little bit further. Um, and maybe grab the goal a little bit faster. Um, two, it lets us pull it up higher, meaning that we can like keep it safe um, at the, towards the end. And then also, since it's more of a lever, it it's at the end of the lever, so it goes up faster. Mm -hmm. A lot of the same angular velocity, but a faster linear velocity. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hansel. Yep. Anyways. Um, so, uh, I'll show you all mine. I got a 1 to 7 going on right now, right? And with these very long bars, these are, the bottom ones are 35 long, but the actual linkage... It's 38. Is, no, not 38, I'm sorry, 33. Uh, wait, this is 32 long, 32 minus, so 31 long. So the actual linkage is 31 long. So that's still significantly longer because I think my last one was 25 and Reese's last one was 26. Something like that. Something like that. So it's significantly longer than the last one. So that's about um, two inches more high distance um, reach, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's the other thing. We have more reach if we go longer too. Yeah. Another thing. So I, th I think longer is just the way to go with these. Just put them further back but longer. And then... Um, yeah, I almost got that done. Just need to really just now just need to put an indicator on it. Um, so tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get a, some sort of indicator situation sorted out. Reese can uh, get his thing working, and then we'll be solid on this. And then all we'll have left is conveyor belt, I think, right? Conveyor belt and programming. Yeah. But, um. So yeah. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.